Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create a mute and unmute volume keyboard shortcut. So we're going to be using a free tool called Sound Volume View. So there's nothing to install, you just download it and extract the zip file, then you run it. Okay, so now here is where you need to find the correct device. So in our case we're going to be muting our speakers, you could also apply it to your microphone and system sounds as well. So we're going to click on Device. That's the type you want to use here. If you right click on it, create desktop shortcut and mute. So we'll say yes to that. And that's what it created. And now we'll do it again and we'll do it for unmute. And so now we have our shortcuts here. You could rename them if you like as well. All right, so let's uh, play some music here. Now I'll mute it. Okay, now I'll unmute it. Alright, so now we need to make our keyboard shortcuts. So the easiest way to do that is just to right click on your shortcut. Make sure you put it somewhere you want to uh, keep it. You know, if you don't want it on your desktop, put it in a folder or in your documents before you do this part. So go to properties. So for the shortcut key, we're going to do control shift M for mute, and then for unmute, control shift U. You could also use control alt and control shift alt, I believe, so you have some other options. And then of course you could change the letter to whatever you want. Okay, so let's try playing the song again here. All right, so just leave the mouse there. Do control shift M. All right, no more volume. Then control shift U to unmute. Just like that. All right, so once again, just download sound volume view, find your speakers and go to the device. Or like I said, you could be, do it for your microphone or system sounds. And then right click on it, create desktop shortcut, one for mute and one for unmute. And of course you have other options here for disable, enable, and so on. And then you'll have your shortcut and then just create your shortcut keys. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download Sound Volume View and then you can try it out for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.